and look at uh, standard deviation and our, our standard deviation formula for a sample. Um, this is, stands for standard deviation, it's known as mu, is equal to the root of the sum of all of our data minus the mean squared divided by, because it's a sample, the number of terms in the data, subtract one. Uh, we'll make sense of all that. This is our data, okay? And we need to find, first of all, the mean. So we need to add them all together and find out what the mean is, okay? So um, a little tedious, but we'll plug it all in, and it'll actually be very helpful if we can figure out how many terms there are. So if we go through this quickly, let me know if I miss anything. We got 15, great. So that means our n term is 15 here. So once we add them all together, and actually what I'll do is I'll show you on a, uh, a spreadsheet how to do this very, very quickly. Actually, just because it'll, it'll kind of speed up our process. Um, and with a calculator, if you had to do it, that's the same, but we got uh, 15 terms here, okay? So I've, I've put the 15 terms and we'll denote them with x. That's what our, our x is, okay? We need to find out what our, our mean is. And our mean, um, you can actually do this in Excel, equals the average, so it'll it'll solve average, and mean is your average of all of these terms, okay? And lo and behold, you add them all up and divide by 15, you get 81.8, okay? So that's important information for us. So that's good to know, so let's write that down, um, that our x bar is 81.8. Okay, so the next thing we'd want to do is order our data. And do, 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 do. I'm just going to show you how to make the chart and we'll do it on Excel, right? So we have that. This is our, our data set. The, after that, what we want to do is we want to take the data and subtract it from the mean. So what that means is we take 70, um, since that's our first piece of data, right? And we would subtract from 81.8 and that would give us some value. Then we take the next number, which was 94, and we subtract from 81.8 and that would give us some value. Okay, we'd have to do that 15 times over to get all those numbers. So it's a lot of work. So we're going to use it an Excel sheet to kind of speed us up through this. Um, I'll denote it again. We have x minus, and I'll just call the mean little x because I'm not quite sure how to show the x bar for my keyboard. But uh, what we'll do now is what I'm going to say is this equals the number there, subtract 81.8. Okay, and it does it very quickly. And luckily, I can copy and paste boom and there we go so that's everything together now a lot of the times what to do is they'll put these numbers in order and then you'll have this in an like increasing or decreasing order it's fine it's not the end of the world we can do it either way I'm gonna just move this down so we can see it's separate okay so once we have those values and we got our number um, usually the next thing we'll build is same idea we take these values and we, we square them okay because squaring them what's gonna be important so that's gonna give us a whole bunch of values and it's gonna give everything Positive. Because no matter what we get, if they're negatives or positive, when we square it, we'll get positive values. So the next line says large x minus our mean. That means to the power of 2 on a computer. Okay. So I say equals this to the power of 2. And it quickly squares it for me. Okay. I'm then going to control C, control V, boom. And there we go. We got a whole bunch of them. And again, that would take us a long time to do. So we, we've done it on our Excel sheet. So that's really good. We've got them all. Now, this is what's important, or at least now that we've built that chart, is this says the sum of all those values. So what that's asking is everything in here, they want us to, uh, we'll do it in green, they want all of them added together to get some value, okay? Because that value is going to help us when we're building our standard deviation. That's essentially going to be the numerator of this fraction we use, okay, whatever this value is. So we go over here, and because Excel works so well, we say sum, okay, and what that'll do is it'll sum up all of these terms so I don't have to you know, type them in individually in the calculator, and lo and behold, we get 3234.4. Great. So let's go back over. 3234.4, is that right? Yeah, I tend to forget things. Yes, that is right. Great. So that was the sum of all those values, of all the values that are squared. We then have to divide by our n, and we know our n is 15. So 15 subtract 1, which means it's going to be divided by 14. Okay, 
And do you want to do it in the calculator there for us? Uh, 20, 231. 231.0, is it? Yeah, so. Oh, roughly? Okay, perfect. So approximately root 231, and then we'll have to root it. So what is the root of that? Bring it up in the calculator if you want. Root 231. 15 point, let's go to 2, let's round it to 2. 15.2 is our standard deviation. Great, so we've just discovered how to do standard deviation. Um, and we could have done the same thing here. I could have said this is equal to that value. Um, we could have set up as a square root. Uh, let me think about this a second. Um, we know there's 15 values, so I can say this is equal to that divided by 14, right? Because we had to do n minus 1. That gives us our new value. This is equal to the, I think I can do sq. Uh, yeah, that should be square root. Square root of the term above. And we get our 15.2 like we said. Now, now that I've showed you how to kind of build it on Excel the same way you do here, I'll show you a real quick shortcut on Excel, depending on what version you have. If you look up standard deviation, oh, um, st, there it is. Standard deviation dot p is of a population of a sample that's us. And all I would have to do is just get the original data. And let's see, 15.19, and you see it gives it right there. So we didn't have to do all those steps. That's how great Excel it kind of works out fast. Great, so we would show you how to do it, and we did it quickly on Excel. And you can do that with a calculator. It's just a little more.